Now, let me tell you about deploying an 80 meter half wave antenna. This has a little coil on it. I mathed out roughly how long this should be. Um, I'm a little fuzzy on the coil because that doesn't look big enough for an 80 meter coil. However, if this is a true 80 meter half wave, then that means this is about 40 meters of wire or around 131 feet. So if you go to deploy this, keep that in mind. This is, uh, takes a little bit of, of space to deploy. Now, I don't have a good place here because of power lines and driveways and everything to keep this deployed permanently and high enough where it would be really efficacious to use. However, we're going to get it deployed in kind of an inverted V configuration. The peak of it will probably be around 20 feet tall on the inverted V, but that will allow us to test it. It will be more of an NVIS kind of configuration because half of 80 meters, which is where this needs to be deployed to be useful at 80 meters, is 130 feet in the air, and I ain't got no way to put this thing 130 feet in the air. So that's not going to happen. What we are going to do is get it deployed. We'll take a look at the antenna on the rig expert and see what kind of SWR we have, what kind of impedance we're getting on the different bands for the antenna. And then we'll see if we can make some contacts. I'm going to hook this up to the flex radio. So when I have this deployed and hooked up, we will jump over to the computer and I'll fire up the flex and we'll see if we can make some contacts. We'll probably take a look at FT8 and use that, see what we're getting, and then maybe try a few sideband contacts. So without further ado, let me grab a screwdriver and let's pop the cover off this and take a look at its guts. 